Welcome into the three show, everybody. Vinny Parasite with you here. The NA3HL is getting closer to its league wide showcase in Blaine, Minnesota, where all 34 teams will compete under one roof for three days. It's a great chance for every player to be seen by coaches and scouts of the North American Hockey League and NCAA scouts. Before we get there, we've got players getting their chance now and making the most of it. Sam Fritchett of the LA Nordiques got the call to the Maine Nordiques a few weekends ago. The forward from Lewiston, Maine, is currently in his third season with the Nordiques and has played in 86 games for LA. Over that span, he has 85 points. He's a 2001 birth year, so we may see him back in the NHL in the near future. One of his former teammates, Cole Olette, has been with the main squad all season after spending two seasons in the NA3HL. The defenseman just picked up his first NHL goal this season in a win over the Johnstown Tomahawks. He has 12 points in 17 games a season, and that ranks him sixth on the team. We talked about Jacob Halverson getting the call to Chippewa a few weeks ago, and this past weekend he found the back of the net in the Steel's 4-1 win over the Fairbanks Ice Dogs. Halverson has played in the last four games for Chippewa, finishing with that goal and a plus one rating. We've got highlights from yesterday's matinee between the New England Knights and the Maine Wild. The Knights have a 3-2 lead about halfway through the third. Caden Mason, his second goal of the season, and the Wild tie it up. And yep, we're headed to overtime. Luke Church in the first round of the shootout buries to give his team a lead. Now it's up to Nolan Murphy to keep this thing going, but no. Keenan Gamache stops all three New England shooters to help the Wild grab a 4-3 win in the shootout. This weekend in the NA3HL, we've got some outstanding matchups across the country as tonight the Rochester Grizzlies head to La Crosse, Wisconsin for a date with the Cooley Region Chill. The Grizzlies are just one point back from the Chill for second place in the Central Division. This could be a playoff preview if the standings were to hold this way. The Granite City Lumberjacks head to North Iowa this weekend for a clash with the Bulls. The two top teams in the West Division have each won five in a row heading into this matchup, and they have each won eight of their last ten. They split a series early in the season up in Sauk Rapids. This should be a fantastic series to watch on Hockey TV. In the Coastal Division, the first place LA Nordiques look to hold off the second place Northeast Generals in their matchup on Saturday. The Gens are rolling with nine wins in their last ten games. They trail the Nordiques by just three points. We expect a lot of goals in this series as each team ranks in the top five in that category. The Chill will have a shot at the first place St. Louis Junior Blues on Sunday as they conclude their important weekend. St. Louis currently holds a five-point lead in the Central Division, but the Chill four games in hand. This one should be a good one to watch alongside your Sunday football. We've got some incredible games lined up for you this weekend, so go get yourself a Hockey TV subscription today. Follow the NA3HL on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We're going to have Turkey Day off here, so we'll be back in two weeks to break down the latest from the NA3HL. Thanks for watching this week. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you next time.